the buddha calm the mind to a very high level and only coming out of it that he began to see what is called the paticca samuppada paticca samuppada simply means how we become conscious of a world and how we become conscious of a self in the world in other words we are becoming conscious of a thing called the world and we become conscious of a self in the world in other words we are creating the world and the self in it this is why the buddha said the world the beginning of the world the end of the world and the way leading to the end of the world is in this fathom long body itself how there are people who ask the question who created the world and most buddhist answer saying the buddha never spoke about it that is not true the buddha spoke about it but he didn't say it was created by a god <coughs> what he pointed out was that you are creating your own world without your knowledge you don't even know that you are creating the world that you are aware of so some people ask if i create my world what about the other people are they also creating their world that means there must be several worlds here <laughs> not only one world <laughs> well the answer is that that is so there are several worlds only difference is that we can communicate because we can communicate and because we can agree because we are all having the similar minds or similar brains so we see things in a similar way as a result and so we can share this what we perceive because we can communicate because of words so if you see a microphone here and i also see a microphone we can just use the same word microphone to refer to what we see here but what you see may be a little different from what i see maybe even a color may be different when you say blue i may be seeing red we don't know but still we call that same word use the same word that's all you see so we are only living in our own world <laughs> although we are able to communicate that's the problem <laughs> you see uh i had to go and speak to a society of uh, existential philosophers or existentialists when i was in new york so when i finished my talk they asked the question what is this thing called solipsism this is another interesting word solipsism now solipsism means you are alone in a world that you have created yourself now what you say seems to be solipsism so i had to explain that solipsism is what we are experiencing but still we think 
we are all living in the same world although we are living in different worlds and uh, then in that case when i see other people am i really alone because other people are also my creation you see that's the problem we are alone only thing is we think there are other people here <laughs> that makes us think that uh, we think we are not alone it's only when you begin to die you begin to realize that you have been alone here <laughs> <laughs> some people when they die they 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 don't like to leave behind the other people <laughs> this is the problem <laughs>